Hi guys, Michael here. So today I want to talk to you about all the type of resets that you can perform on your Kindle. Um, this would apply to kind of all the recent Kindle generations, as well as some of the old ones. Um, this wouldn't apply though to the Kindle Fire. So if you have a Kindle Fire, you'd have to look for another video. So let's dive into it straight away. And the first kind of two resets that you could perform are in settings um, on the Kindle itself. So if your Kindle allows you to touch the screen and you're able to kind of go to settings, let's say maybe if the screen is garbled, but you still are capable of pressing on stuff. Um, so if the touch screen is also still responsive, I would do that. So you go basically to settings and then device option. And then you have two options here. So you can either restart your Kindle, which would perform um, something like a soft reset or um, reset device. So this would be kind of a, a full um, wipe or a factory reset that would remove all the data within, within the device. So I will just press on the restart device. So it asks you, do you want to restart your Kindle? Yes, this may take several minutes. So usually it's something around um, a minute or two. And this is something that I would recommend in case of, let's say some of the uh, books aren't loading or um, cases of loading uh, just a couple of pages for the book rather than all of them. Also, if you feel like um, you've, downloaded some books but I, they aren't showing up on your kindle and you have your wi-fi on i would definitely recommend doing that and um, so i will speed up this process just to kind of um, save some time Okay, perfect. So we have the soft resets performed. Um, and these would be resets that you can go through the, through the uh, screen itself, okay? Um, in case of the screen being not responsive and you're unable to press on anything, so maybe the, the screen is completely blank, uh, it's black, unresponsive at all, um, this is what I would do. So first thing is I would just press on the button below just once just to kind of switch it off and then i would press on it one more time just to see if the screen responds so that will be just a simple kind of a turn off turn on and then if that doesn't work um i would suggest kind of holding it for 30 seconds or so so holding the button down there um, and it asks you for a restart or a screen off. Um, so in case, let's say you, you don't have the screen responsive, just hold it, keep on holding it basically for 30 or so seconds. So even though if there will be some, uh, some things happening on the screen, you still keep on holding that button. So you can see now it happened there no lights nothing come up and then kindle so i will let go right now and this will be uh, considered um, a soft reset so again we need to wait something around 30 seconds or probably a minute or two depending on the generation as well it may be something like five ten minutes so be patient Okay guys, so after a minute or two, I would recommend waiting maybe five minutes or so. Um, you should have the screen coming back again, hopefully. And, um, and that's it, this is what you can do. In the older, older versions, uh, people recommend removing the battery for five, 10 minutes. That might be the case in, in situations like really nothing works there. So I would probably recommend as a kind of a last resort just to open the unit um, and remove the battery for five, 10 minutes and reconnect it back again, okay? Something to mention as well that um, make sure that your Kindle is fully charged, okay? 
Um, so I would advise to kind of leave the unit um, charging for a couple of hours or maybe overnight and try those steps um, afterwards. Or what you can also do is plug in the charge charger and then perform a soft reset while the unit uh, is being charged, okay? That may also give you a different result and it, it is worthwhile uh, testing it out, okay? Plug it to directly to the outlet or plug it to the laptop and, and try the, holding the button for 30 seconds. If all those uh, would still fail and you wouldn't be able to get access to the screen, um, I would probably suggest contacting Amazon and if the unit is still within warranty, possibly a replacement, okay? Um, that will be it guys, so thanks for watching. I hope you subscribe to my channel um, and leave some comments down below of uh, whether the steps helped or not. Thanks for watching, take care, see ya.